Hi, uh, I'm Justin Alford and I'm the Manufacturing Engineering Manager and Continuous Improvement Manager at Oxford Instruments. So Oxford Instruments make research equipment for academic and industrial areas of, of uh, technology, creating ultra low temperature environments and uh, systems with high magnetic fields in order to make new discoveries and push our understanding of the known universe forward. So I was first introduced to uh, CI or Operational Excellence four or five years ago now. Uh, my line manager at the time had asked me to um, come out of the day-to-day -day operations and try to use some of the tools and techniques that uh, we learn in Six Sigma and Lean Manufacturing to create improvements um, for the workforce and the teams in order to do more with less. So that means trying to get more output or, or better quality uh, with the same headcount. So finding efficiencies, eliminating wastes. Uh, and at the time, uh, I'll have to be honest, I, I wasn't fully sold on the idea. Um, so he had to walk me through his experience uh, and some of the uh, tools and techniques that, that he'd used in the past. And I quickly realized that this is actually something that Oxford Instruments should have been doing for a long, long time and actually haven't. So once I got to grips with the ideas of uh, the theory of how things are supposed to be uh, deployed and how we can find gains in performance without adding simple headcount, uh, then the tangible results uh, revealed themselves quite quickly. Uh, and because we hadn't been doing it for a very long time, there were quite a, a, a lot of low-hanging fruit. So. Uh, benefits came quite quickly. So uh, an example of um, one of the improvements we've made at Oxford Instruments is that our, our magnet line would um, build each magnet uh, as it was required. So we have a, an end-to-end -end process where the magnets are uh, all the all the parts are brought in. They then go through several stages uh, of very unique um, build processes, uh, and then once the final product's built, we we test it in, in a customer uh, operation. What we found is that because we're building them one by one by one, and they're all bespoke to a nature, um, there's actually quite a few common parts across many of those those magnets. So what we were able to do by having a look at the whole order book and the process end to end is to batch up a number of the builds together. So ones that had commonality, we, we build all those together up until the point they became unique. And what that meant is that we could combine a number of the builds into our reaction ovens or on our winding machines, or we could group our deliveries of, of wire from manufacturers to come in larger quantities, um, but as and when we needed them which meant there were, there were fewer transactions, fewer, fewer points of, of touch time on, on the overall builds by batching uh, a lot of the components together. And what that meant was that rather than the upstream part of the business that would pull the magnets and always be waiting for that magnet to be available from the line, the magnet team were actually able to put magnets onto the shelf before the upstream production line needed them to the point where they put enough on the shelf to go and use that resource on other areas where the business really needed it. Um, so not only did we uh, increase the output of one line, we actually can, then were able to put more resource into a, another area of the business that really needed it. Um, one of the outcomes was that, uh, you know, in the beginning, where, where we hadn't done so much operational uh, excellence or continuous improvement for many years at, at OI, um, delivering change to uh, standard process was uh, quite hard to implement. So there was quite a bit of resistance. And, you know, are you sure this is going to work? And, and, and will this deliver the output you think? Um, I'm pleased to say that over the six months we ran the project, it did deliver um, what we were we were hoping for to the point where some of the team were actually asking, can we broaden our, uh, the amount of magnets we can batch? Because they could see the, the potential impact and savings and benefits from 
not just some of the magnet lines that we'd identified, but some of the other ones that they, they were more familiar with and knew with, that we do repeat business on. So it, it actually became quite infectious uh, and also delivered some good results there. So once I was introduced to operational excellence, um, I, I was I was led through it by uh, my line manager at the time, who who helped uh, coach me through a number of things, as well as providing uh, training for the tools and techniques and qualifications that that come in hand when uh, deploying these types of improvements. Having that person there as uh, a guiding voice, particularly when you run up against unexpected events or resistance to change in the workplace, just having someone with the experience to say, yeah, that's normal. Uh, you know, not all things go to plan or perhaps we all approach it in a different way. How are we selling it to the team? How are we getting the team to buy into this change? If you get everybody to buy into the change, um, the collective outcome is, is so much more beneficial uh, to individuals, to teams, to the business uh, as a whole. So having that experience to say, yeah, I was I was waiting for this to happen. Uh, perhaps consider these actions. Do you want to work through it together, etc. Was key because I think without that support, I probably would have would have stumbled. I stumbled across the finish line. Would you know? It would have been a steep learning curve, um, uh, and then and then learn from there. But, but just to have that someone to fall back on and, and take guidance from was was key. And that then once the first few were embedded, then. I knew what to expect and, and have in fact started to coach others in, in the same way he coached me. Um, and you know now they're starting to implement their projects and activities around the business. And hopefully eventually they'll begin to keep uh, coach others in turn. My honest answer is that no one necessarily uh, influenced or, or inspired me it was the actual tangible benefits that, that once we'd given it, because this was all, all, all alien to me until the idea came up. <laughs> and to be honest, we, we, should have, we should have been doing this for years and for many reasons hadn't. Um, so it really, my answer was seeing the tangible benefits for myself and then, and then realizing that there is a almost like a, an aha moment, a eureka moment, where many of the, the answers we were looking for in years gone by were within our own gift. Uh, and then to just the answers are in the own, our own four walls. We didn't need anybody, you know, with a magic wand to come along. So for me, uh, business improvement, CI, operational excellence, it, it come, comes under uh, many names, but the meaning for me is, is being able to unlock the best potential there is within the business, within its own means. So it's not necessarily hiring in uh, the best in the industry or, or buying the most fanciest machine. It's about taking each step through a, a process, removing waste, or, or in our case, particularly um, uh, removing the limiting bottleneck to that product or process's output. Uh, and each time that you do that, the, the business finds itself with an improved product or process that is then fixed and sustainable. It, it might not meet all of the targets for everyone's expectations, but what you know is that you've made an improvement that's, that's made that, that product or process better than it ever was in the past. And if you continue to do that, you'll only end up with a better and better product or process. So when looking for signs of continuous improvement uh, or operational excellence, uh, I always look for, first of all, visual indicators. So visual management. Um, you can usually tell if something's orderly, that it's not just been spruced up because someone's coming for a visit. It, it's specific, it has a place. Uh, there's usually no clutter or mess because your 5S has been implemented. There's a place for all the things you need and it's not cluttered because the things you don't need aren't there. Um, processes are, are up to date. 
um, and of the latest revision, which means everybody's working from the same process, from the same uh, quality control document. Everybody should be at the same level or there's training records to get those up to the next level that they're aiming for. And you can usually see uh, uniform output. So if there are KPIs, then clearly someone's trying to demonstrate what their current performance is and where to look for improved performance. And if that KPI is um, displaying a uniform output, then, then clearly they've, they've got control of their processes and products. And if they haven't got uniform output, then it'd be nice to see, you know, clearly there's a, an area for opportunity here uh, and perhaps some action plans about uh, what we're going to do to gain control of, of the areas of concern. The advice I give to uh, someone uh, starting out their career uh, in continuous improvement uh, and operational excellence, usually it's around two things. So whenever trying to implement uh, an improvement, um, sometimes you won't always meet your targets, but that improvement makes the process of product better than it was in the past. And that means you've made a step forward. Regardless of the size of the step, it's still better than it was. And that means you can do even more improvement on it going forward. So uh, any win is a win, regardless of the size. Uh, and you should take uh, comfort and pride of being able to implement that change. And the other thing I, I try and encourage people to do is to look at things end to end. So if you're trying to make an improvement on, on, on a very small field of vision, it might be that your improvement has improved that area, but perhaps hasn't improved the process or product overall from a business performance point of view. That's because there's been a bigger bottleneck or, or bigger area of opportunity somewhere else within the line. So if you can look end to end and map the complete process or, or, or journey that the product goes on, identify the critical area that slows most things down or where we're, we're putting in the most waste or not adding the most value. If you can start there uh, and then alleviate that issue, then the whole of the business will benefit. And then there's nothing to stop you looking for the next bottleneck and the next bottleneck and the next one. By doing this, you'll get the biggest wins soonest. Uh, so there are no bad improvements. There's just the best improvement to make for each case. So you gain, a, you gain a wider understanding of the tools and techniques that you're attempting to learn and implement. You gain a wider understanding of, of how to deploy certain uh, types of uh, support or coaching or what to use and when to use it how to interact with individuals in particular uh, circumstances. Not one method always suits. So having a, a diverse approach, uh, a fundamental understanding, uh, being coached and coaching means that you can, you can usually arrive at the best outcome once you've been given that support and time to, to understand how best to deploy uh, the items you're, you're being taught. It also means that you've got a broader uh, horizon so you can look end to end you do know where to look what questions to ask how to deploy uh, the improvements that you need to rather than um, just a, a, a short and precise lesson in perhaps this is the theory behind you actually get to deploy and, and use use the, the items that you've been taught day to day um, and that obviously adds back to you know you gain something yourself uh, and it obviously adds back to the business so um, the more opportunity there is to, to take up things like apprenticeships, um, I, I, I certainly back them. I, I was an apprentice myself um, and, and have been through the PMI training, so I can speak more highly of it.